What is going on YouTube? It is Minecraft to go here. Surprising, right? No. But in today, I'll be sh uh, showing you how to make your own Minecraft 1.1.0 craft bucket server. This means you can have plugins, which is really cool and all that jazz. And you can even have plugins as advanced as log block, which I have my server, which will be open soon, as soon as bucket updates with the recommend build. So the first thing you want to do to make your, this epic server, you want to go to your internet browser that is your favorite. I prefer Google Chrome just because it's my favorite. Then you want to go to bucket.org, which is the first link in the, in the description because it is sexy like that. All right, right here under recommend builds below sign up now, you want to download uh, the latest one, this one right here, recommend build for 1.1.0-R1. But notice this is 1.0.1-R1. Well, you can't download it because it'll be for Minecraft 1.0.0. That's not going to work. It's not going to cut it. So then you want to go to uh, ci.bucket.org. It is quite as it's not as sexy as uh, bucket.org, but it is second on the second in second link in the description. So it's quite sexy in my opinion. Then you want to click dev dash craft bucket smack dab in the middle, and then you want to download the latest recommend uh, latest build, which is at the top. It doesn't have to be one seven seven four. That's just the time I'm making this video. Um, that's the latest one. And then under build artifacts, click craft bucket dash one point one dash r one dash snapshot dot gr. All right, download it, and wherever you download it, you just want to move it to your desktop for now. All right, so here is it is at our desktop, and it's got a long name. We don't like that, so we want to rename it to craft bucket dot gr, like so. All right, and now it's shorter, it's cooler, it's sexier. Right click on your desktop or wherever you want to make your server. You make a folder. You call it server. Or you can call it craft bucket server. You can call it servers. You could call it dirt face, which is not quite as sexy as calling it sexy. Yes. So click on it and wow, it's a folder. I've never seen one of these, Sonny. And just drag your craft bucket dot jar into that server folder. Now, you want to click it. All right. And you download. It'll download 12 items from the website. If it does not download from the website, simply restart your computer, delete the server folder, empty your recycling bin. It does, you don't have to enter your recycling bin, just move it to your recycling bin and try downloading it again. Click craftbucket.jar after you renamed it, of course. And hopefully it will download. Just keep doing that because it's a problem. Bucket sometimes have problems with downloading. All right, so now you got your server and it's ready to use. Except you're probably like, well, how do I start my server? Well, I'm going to show you how. Then you want to go to the third link in the description. We're going to download a program called Notepad. So you want to just you just want to Google Notepad++, and right under Notepad++ Home, this you can just click that, I guess. And now we're going to navigate to the download page. Download. All right, click. It's quite slow today. Yes. Well, all right. All right, here it is. So then you want to download the uh, first one, Notepad++ Installer. You click that, and it's going to download. You run it, and then you have Notepad++. All right. So you're going to make a um, new, actually no, you're going to open Notepad++, okay? And none of this will be here, so let me close, all right, close all but this and then close this. You'll have like new one, alright? So then you want to go to the description. I don't have it in my description, I'm on my desktop because then that'll be Inception if I'm going into the future, grabbing my description there and all that jazz, well that not as confusing as hell. Alright, so... Um, this is what it should look like in the description now Then you're going to um, so here's the new it's going it'll, it'll say new one And now you just want to copy a 64-bit start code if you have a 64-bit computer and paste it in Or if you have a 32-bit you copy this and you paste it in now How did it tell if you have a 32 or 64-bit? Well, if your computer has 2 gigabytes or less of RAM it is a 32-bit uh, which is not recommended for running Minecraft having a server and all those background processes, okay? It's not recommended at all. So, if, but if you have a 64-bit, this it has more than uh, it has three or more gigabytes of RAM. Wow. There is something in the back of my hair. I was like, I think it's I don't know what it is. I'll deal with it later. Wow, I'm easily distracted when I do tutorials. So yeah, that's how you tell. And then you paste it in and you click Control S. Now you want to navigate to your server or whatever you called it folder. Mine's on the desktop, so it's easy to navigate to. Now, file name you're gonna put at start dot bat and click save and woohoo it's all colorful now that's what it should do because it's a bat file 
All right, and then open your uh, folder. Now we're gonna go through what everything is. We'll start with the server.properties. You click it, here it is. Now let me edit, yeah, format, font, whole. And we'll make it something large so y'all can see it. All right, allow nether. If you want the people to go to nether, you enable this. A world name, level or level name. Let's say I want my world name to be a sexiness. That's what my world name would be, but usually I'll keep it world. So it's easier for when you install plugins. Enable query, do not worry about this, you're never gonna use it. Allow flight. Now if you want people to fly on your server, you can make this true, but if you don't, you make that false or they'll kick. Server port, keep this 25565. Five. But now, if you're running two servers, if you do ever do this in the future and after you port forwarded, you'll make this like four, two six two five five six four and a new server folder. So you have two server folders, one with port two five five six five, one with two, port two five five six four. Simple as that. But I'm gonna keep that five. Level type default. Now um I believe it is flat like this for flatland. I'm not really sure. Just Google it, you'll find it somewhere. Uh but we're just gonna call it, we're gonna keep this default because I want it to have generate terrains. Enable Archon, do not worry about that at all, okay? It's too advanced. Level seed, now let's say you have a favorite seed like sexy. Like this, you have a seed like this. And whatever it generates, that's how you want your world to look like. That's what you do. Now, server IP, now, this is tricky part. So you want to open up CMD, um, but you can simply Click a shortcut if you have one like I do, or you can um, click this little window thing and type C search for CMD and click CMD.exe. And now this one will be hard to see, but you click, you type in ipconfig, ipconfig, there's no spaces, caps, I don't think it really matters. And now you're looking for your IPv4 address, all right? This is under wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection, all right? It just, uh, there's also another one, but that's under, under, Ethernet adapter Hamachi. You do not want that because that's I believe that's what you use for your Hamachi. And there's also another one with like 127.0.0.1. Um, I don't see it at the moment. So yeah, right here under IPv4 address, it's one night for me. It's gonna be different for you. It's 192.168.1.117. Great, you got my IP. Come at me, bro. All right, so now you just wanna edit us uh, and put it here. 192. Whoa, it's not typing. 192.168.1.117 and this is your IP your server is going to connect to spawn NPCs now if you don't if you want NPCs in your village you can make this false but if you want NPCs in your villages you can make this true but I usually keep it false because those NPCs are ugly as hell well wait till this now I'll explain over this but if you only want certain people to join you make this true spawn animals if you want animals to spawn in the world, which I highly recommend if they're not, if they're in survival mode, you make this true. But if you don't like animals and you hate um, animals, you just make this false. Online mode. Now, let's say you got a uh, correct Minecraft. This is what it means for online mode. All right. So if you want, if you change online mode to false, people with cracked uh, Minecrafts can come in, which means you have, you own a cracked server. PVP, player versus player. If you want people to fight, you make this if, if you want people to fight, you make this tr true, not terror. Ter I don't even know how you pronounce that. But if you don't want people to fight, you make this false. Difficulty one, I believe this is easy. Z zero is peaceful, I believe. Two is normal. Three is hard. Four, a uh, four, I'm not even sure if there is a four, but I believe this is hardcore, but I don't think that'll be possible because griefers would die and your server would be gone. So leave it at one. Game mode, zero equals survival, okay? So if you want people to be survival, you make this zero. If you want people to be in creative mode, you make this one, like that, okay? I won't, we'll, I'll make people in creative mode. Max players, how many people do you want at maximum that can, um, at, at maximum that can connect to your server? Well, I only want one person. That would be me. But now, if I, but I say I only want, if I want two people, I make this two. Spawn monsters. If you want those pesky monsters to spawn, you make this true. If you don't want those pesky monsters to spawn, you make this false. View distance. Now, this is how many chunks. Like, if you're on far, it's 10 chunks. I usually make it 9, so it's a little faster, but it's not really affecting how far you see, and it doesn't, and it still looks nice. And MOTD, when, if you, um, uh, um, uh, I don't open my Minecraft in case, in risk of it crashing, 
But you know, when you have a server and you save it, oh, it'll say like the the server name, then the IP. I think no, it doesn't show the IP. But then it'll have like some text that this is where you this is where you'll put it right here. So let's say uh, I am sexy like that, and then that's what happens when I do my server and tutorial. So someone can, and someone tries to join my server right now at this moment I'm recording this. Don't know I'm doing a tutorial. Don't know why I'm talking like this. So I'm gonna stop. The wow. <clears throat> All right. Server log, do, you do not need to worry about. It's going to basically log everything that happens in CMD. All right, so now we're going to go to the whitelist. Remember, oh, I got right click edit, but you can just open it. Something weird with my computer. Let's say um, you want certain people to be whitelisted, okay? Um, so, I'm trying to think. So, when you enable whitelist, like, all right, when you have whitelist enabled, this, is who are, this will be people who are able to join, okay? So, I'll put myself in. I'll put a few of my friends in. And the last friend. Lock down. Dead Duke 72. Scare Corsair. Sad on the sky. MYT 21. You simply just put it in, in like this. Um, yeah, but let's put these people. The default three. We had our good times in beta 1.4. Made a server. And we're just like, yeah, we're killing zombies with a wooden sword. So yeah. And now, let's say you want to ban people. Um, if you have, oh, uh, got to right click edit. Forgot because my computer is stupid. Edit. Now, let's say I, I want uh, Storm Surge to be banned from my server. So now he is banned from my server because if his name is here, he's banned. Let's say I want Notch to be banned from my server. Well, he is banned from my server now because he is in here. But let's say you get someone's IP. This, but it has to be their external IP, which is like, oh, what is this? You'll later learn when I do a port forwarding video. You enter their IP here. And you do not enter a port number, though. All right, so this is my external IP. Great, you got my internal and my external IP, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, my voice is getting sore. I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it again. And let's say on a bench 1.2.3.4.5. Now, these people will be banned. If they have these IP, so let's say you have like a, gr a team of griefers who play under one IP, and you know this somehow because you can see in CMD when it connects, it shows their external IP, and some plugins even store it, so you can just ban it there. And let's say Bob tries to get in, he's a griefer, he get he can't get in because, and and Storm Surge tries to get in, but he can't get in because they're all under that IP. Simple as that. Now, that is big. Oh, ops. This is probably the most important uh, besides the serve properties. Now, if you edit it. Let's say we want some people who can do every command um, when you get plugins or just the commands at like a vanilla server. You just do, you enter their names here. Like this, all right? So now people who are listed here, um, they can do every command, make like time, day, give people stuff and all that, stop server. Uh, and when you get plugins, um, they can have all, every, they have every command unless they have to. It has to the to have the command. It must be specified under a rank for a group manager, which I have a video for, which works for one point one point one point zero. Quick link. Nah, no, don't, there's gonna be no link. You'll just find it. All right. So now, how do we how do we start our server? Well, hint. Start our back. You click it, and oh, look at this. Um. Oh, I did. I forgot. I made it. So all right. So so everything is generated. I believe I left the Nether on. Yeah, everything has generated. <clears throat> and I, I see warnings here warning 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 this means because I made I set the online mode to false which means anyone um, Say who has cracked they can enter my name. They'll get in and all that uh, You can click stop but now let's say your server is slow um, After you get on and you port for now how you're like okay now How do I add more RAM you right click start that bat you click edit with notepad plus plus and right here, where it says 1024, you can change this to whatever you want, 248. And you change the other one to 2048. This means it has 2 gigabytes. And before, it had 1 gigabyte, one, and it goes in increments of one zero, uh, 1024. Again, there's information how much RAM you want to get your server and all that, how to change it if you need more specific uh, way and all that, and how much, what megabyte. Uh, this M stands for megabyte. is how many in translated into gigabytes. 
So that's basically it. Uh, just make sure there's no more errors. You click start up. Oh wait, I did something wrong. And if it's, if you get this error, error occurred in, during initializing a VM. Could not reserve enough space for object heap. Oh no! You right click. Yeah, you click edit with Notepad plus plus. What do I do here? Well, I guess because I'm recording, it's taken up quite a bit of RAM to record. Well, that's, not, that's a lot. And hopefully it should work. Yep, yeah, it's working. And so just to make sure, tell you that it works, I'm not going to join, but I'm going to do something else. So, serve it up properties. Where it's false, 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 false. Online mode. Make this true so you see that there's no errors and you can join your server. Start that bet. No errors and it loaded all three worlds. 69. Nick, nick, nick. Um, so I have a sick sense of humor. So that's it, YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe because I make more of these tutorials and I go very in depth, which I notice most YouTubers who make tutorials about making Minecraft servers do not. They skip over things. It's too short, crappy quality. They record with toasters, all that, and I do none of those except talking too fast, which I didn't mention there, but so I don't do it technically. Nick, nick, nick. Thanks for watching. Subscribe before I talk in circles. Thanks for watching. Damn it, I just did it again.